Hi everyone, my name is Naya Bond and I'm a facilitator here at Lumen Circles. I'm really excited to be able to talk with you today about tags, what tags are, how we use them, why we use them, and how they provide us with a really amazing opportunity to build a bridge between inspirational ideas and intentional teaching practices, really helping us to translate our teaching philosophy tangibly into our classrooms, whatever modality those classrooms may take. I've taken us directly to the tag site in our platform, which you can access from the library homepage using this top navigation bar. The first thing you might notice is that there are five overarching color-coded themes on the page. Supportive, challenging, varied, organized, and belonging. Themes are the different dimensions of the learning environment that each contribute to supporting student success in different ways. Each theme includes a set of tags. Tags are the teaching strategies or pedagogical practices that educators can use to help strengthen learning and student success. As an example, let's start with the supportive theme. You can click on the theme itself, as I'll do here, and be taken to a larger description of the classroom environment that is defined as supportive. Then you'll see individual tags with their full descriptions. You can also scroll back up the screen and hover over a tag if you'd prefer a quick view or want to dig deeper into a specific tag and its resources. Now that we've covered what tags are, let's talk a bit about how we use them. We use tags all over the platform. Essentially anywhere there is a text box, we can add a tag. But even though there are many spaces and places to include tags, we always do so with careful consideration and intention. This is because the Lumen experience is trying to help us become more aware of our teaching choices and the strategies or practices that we can use to help students be more successful. Tags give us a common language for how we think and talk about these practices. This makes our individual reflections more robust. We can tag as we go, bringing our intention to the forefront of our weekly responses. We can also use tags to respond to other peers in the community, again, providing us with a common language that we can build a strong teaching and learning practice from. As we bring tags into our reflections and feedback, it helps us become more thoughtful about the teaching practices we are exploring and their impact on teaching and learning. When your teaching reflections are associated with tags, it links that work to your pedagogy profile. This is how you build a body of evidence about the effective teaching practices you are using or want to use in your teaching. As a quick summary, we use tags to root our philosophy to a concrete practice. The tags also connect us to specific resources and materials that we can use to keep digging into the details of our teaching how and why. And they also help us make evidence-based practices data-driven. I know a lot of what we do in teaching is intuitive and it almost seems kind of innate, but helping bring our pedagogy to that intentional level where we can recognize and reward and revise accordingly to what is working well and what might be an opportunity for growth is just another way to enhance the teaching learning process, empower us as instructors, and empower our students. I hope that you enjoyed learning about tags and themes with me. Please feel free to return to the library to really dig into all of the amazing concepts and resources that are housed there and to start thinking about how to use tags intentionally to enhance your teaching philosophy and practice.